Good morning, champions. Isaiah 43, verse 19. You can, you can trumpet it with me. Say, behold, let's see, do it together. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Whenever you hear God say, behold, he's calling you out like, look up, pay attention, see, look away from your distractions, look away from previous glories, look away from past exploits, look away from previous achievements, look away from those things that are trying to distract you. Don't dwell on old history. Don't go over ancient stories. Behold, I'm about to do something new. I'm about to do something fresh. I'm about to do something you have never heard of. I'm about to do something unprecedented. I'm about to do something only God can think of. When he says, I'm about to do something new, and you understand that Solomon in Ecclesiastes had said that there is nothing new under the sun. And then you may be like, so if there is nothing new under the sun, so what is God talking about a new thing? He's talking about what he only can think about. Because if it is you, whatever you can come up with had already happened. Until Mary conceived, did you know a virgin could carry a child? What is coming upon your life is new. It is different. It is unprecedented. It is extraordinary. That is the announcement your father asked me to come and tell you. That he is doing a brand new thing. He's doing something fresh in your life. He's doing something very different. Something that can only come from him. And even now, it springs forth. When you say something springs, it's talking about sudden blessings, sudden overflow, sudden breakthrough. See, you're talking about something that will happen suddenly. It says, can a nation be born in a day? That's the God that is speaking. The one that can make a nation to be born in a day. The one that can look at waters and create a pathway. You've seen construction companies, how long it takes them to make one little, one kilometer. But the one that is doing a new thing is the one that makes it to spring forth suddenly. So what's our work this morning? What is he asking us to do? To stop dwelling in the past. Whether that past is pain or that past is glory. Stop thinking about the past miracle. Oh, when I was a teenager. Oh, when I was 50. Oh, when I was 60. Oh, when I went to school. I saw God do this. He said, look up. Look away. Behold, I I'm doing something new. Look away from your former victories. Look away from your former glories, from your former exploits, from your former miracles. Because the miracle that is about to drop in your hand, you have never heard of it. You have never seen of it. You've seen it. You have never read about it. The deliverance you're about to see, what you're about to encounter can only be brought forth by the God of power and might. Say, behold, I'm doing something new. So I came to announce to you that your father says, get ready for the unprecedented. Get ready for sudden breakthroughs. If that's your word, I'll see you standing. Get ready for sudden connections to wells. Get ready for sudden blessings, sudden promotions, sudden uplift, sudden beauty. That people will look at you and doubt. Get ready for unusual increase. Get ready for uncommon favors. Why? The one who specializes in making roads through the wilderness. The one who specializes in making waters in dry land says, Behold, I, I am doing a new thing. And it is something you've never known. So you get ready to sing a new song because every time God does a new thing, it requires a new song to declare it. Shout to your neighbor, say something new and spectacular. Is coming into my life. Prophesy it to another person. Say something new and spectacular. Is coming into my life. Say my new thing is coming suddenly. Say it's like you understand it. Something new and spectacular is coming into my life. It's no motivation. It's prophecy. It's what your father is saying. It is your word if you understand it and grab it. Say something new and spectacular is coming into my life. It is unprecedented, extraordinary, and beautiful. 
My life will never be the same again. My world will never be the same again. My home will never be the same again. My business will never be the same again. Say, I receive new breakthroughs. I receive new relationships. I receive new instructions. Along with unparalleled blessings. Along with unparalleled blessings. Unrivaled promotions. Astonishing miracles. Say, I am expecting to see God do what has never been done before. Say, new things ordained by God are springing forth for me. I am alert and present. I refuse to dwell on past events or go over a old history. I am ready for something superior to my previous encounters, my uncultivated grounds. You know what your uncultivated grounds are? Your desert lands, your wilderness places. Say they are overflowing with life-giving rivers. Prosperity, incalculable wealth, an abundance of blessings. These are mine. Say going forward, I am associated with life, with growth, with productivity, with fruitfulness. Say my new thing is not dependent on my strengths. My new thing will be brought about by God himself. My new thing will not be a repetition of the past. My new thing will be fresh, brand new, and different. My new thing will not be delayed, will not be diverted. My new thing will happen suddenly because the great I am is in charge. Say, my new thing will happen suddenly. My new thing will not suffer delay. My new thing will not suffer diversion. Hallelujah. My new thing is bringing forth as I speak. Say today, I, Ian Patrick Grace Henry, I receive God's new thing for my life. I am not stuck in past achievements. I am not stuck in ancient exploits. I am not worried about former victories. I'm not worried about former glories. I am not worried about former blessings. My expectations are not limited by my experiences. My memory shall not hinder my imagination. I am ready for my new. It will be in my life as it is in heaven. It will be in my life on earth as it is in heaven. Do you know that there is a you God knows? So begin to declare that it is on earth in your life as it is in heaven. Your new thing cannot suffer delay. If your new thing is pregnancy, it cannot be delayed. If your new thing is a job, it cannot be delayed. If your new thing is marriage, it cannot be delayed. Say, my new thing cannot be diverted. My new thing cannot be stolen. Address things because you are prophesying. This year, I will not miss God's new thing for me. My new thing will not be exchanged. My new thing will not be a job. My new thing will not be corrupted. My new thing will not be stolen. What God will do is not dependent on my work. What God will do is not the power and life. What God will do is not the of the past. What God will do is not the fresh. What God will do is not the brand new. What God will do is not the present. What God will do is not the present. Because they are in the world. My new thing is bursting forth as I speak. My new them is bursting forth as I speak. My new connections are bursting forth as I speak. They are being orchestrated as I speak. My new thing cannot be forced. Oh Lord, I am ready for my new. Lord, I 
are ready for the new. 